hello and welcome back to my channel it is jasmine hello hello so today is wednesday so we are doing our boo joe bullet journaling um of course um i do this alongside miss miranda Mrs. is thinking of a master plan which we've kind of just you know we do our own thing um but we just on certain days we just have the same video coming out so today is boo joe and again it's not a thing um so i'm sitting here and i'm looking at this book here which is the agenda 52 from the paper studio and i was thinking that this little lady here let me zoom in for you guys so you can see so she looks like she is a crafter and she looks like she's a crafter which is the same girl just one's white one's black and they have on different shirts and different jackets um they they're slightly different slightly Okay, so those I think will be the crafter girls out of here because they're kind of like in this area, this section right here with all the, actually they're boss babes to be very clear. So they're working like a boss, all that other stuff. Very busy, but they could also be, you know, crafters. So that is, y'all couldn't even see nothing in the book. I should have zoomed it back here. Sorry, guys. Jeez, you know, I just only pay attention. So anyway, like I said, they are in this section where is that in this section with all the different um supplies so they're like boss babes that type of stuff anyway i might use one of them out of there but in the meantime we are going to pull out the planner girl and miss maker because guess what we are doing we are bullet journaling which is something that you do where you create your own layout and then you can go in and pretty much decorate it however you would like to so what we have here is that I am going to do, I want to say this up here is going to be my box where I put the uh, book title and um, the book title, uh, the people who write the book, the authors. <laughs> Y'all drawing a huge major blank. Okay, so the people who write the books, yeah, authors. Um, so yeah, and then um, and then I'll probably go, you know, in the different. And I'm not gonna put any days of the week on here. I'm not gonna do any of that. But we are gonna decorate it and make it, you know, cute and crafty looking. Okay, so first of all, let's go in and we can talk about what I have done on these pieces of paper. So here is a ten by thirty four square or rectangle and all the way across this is as well as a 10 by 34 it's just in a different direction or is this 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 12 sorry so a 12 by 34 square and then 10 by 34 are these right here and then this one over here i want to say is a 12 by 18 I think that's what I did and I wanted to leave a little area for a nice little quote to go there. All right. And so I usually like to go in and I like to deck, uh, do the boxes beforehand because that takes up a lot of time. And when I have to, so y'all can see where I drew the line and then traced over it with this uh, paper studio, um, these markers here, it is a dual tip. So it has the brush tip on this side. It has the extra fine tip on the other side. So I just go in with that. Right now we are going to go in and I want to do a little bit of the shadowing effect. So I can do that on camera with you guys because doing this takes a little bit of time. So sometimes I'm just trying to shorten up the video and make it a little bit shorter for you all. So we're going to do a little bit of a shadowing effect see how that looks and if you notice that I, I like doing the bujo spreads because you can always do different colors um and different layouts and but sometimes i do struggle because i'm like oh i already did that one so i don't want to like really do that over again i don't think i've done this one before so yeah that's why we're trying this one out and this shadowing effect is i don't know I don't know if I'm really liking it that much, but it's all good. You know, it is what it is. So, yes. So you can do different layouts. You can do the shadowing. You can just go in and just do with the stickers. You can do your stencils. You can pull those out and have a solely, um, just a spread with stencils, no stickers. You can stamp, which you can do all of this stuff in your planners as well. So don't feel limited and be like, oh, I have to bujo in order to do all these things. Though That is not what you have to do. 
Um, there's many different planners out there that make many different layouts and you can always choose one of those. You can stamp in those. You can use stickers. You can use just pen only spreads. You can do washi only spreads. We have a couple of those um, challenges um, on our channels. So if you want to check those out. So I just don't want you to feel limited in what you have to do. You can always make it fun and creative and it can turn out wonderful and be beautiful. Just know that when you bullet journal, sometimes it does take a little bit of time. This is something that is um, slightly therapeutic because of the different aspects and concepts that you have to do. All right, so it's gonna look like that. I actually bent my paper when I was erasing kind of upset me just a tad bit y'all know I don't like bent up paper wrinkled paper is not my friend all right so I wanted to use this sticker right here this one spoke to me a little bit it says creativity is messy and I'm very creative or at least I feel that way I think I am so I want to take this one and I kind of want to put it up here catty cornered and I want to put this right here, I'm super excited, you guys. You guys are gonna see the new planner, the Amy Tangerine planner. I'm so excited I got it today. Um, I did not do a flip through. I don't plan on doing a flip through, but I am super duper excited about having it. I wanted to use those stickers and then I was like, well, I just wanna hold on to them just a little bit longer so I can look at them just a little bit longer. So we're just gonna go in and I am going to put a few of the Miss Maker stickers down because it's got my creative juices flowing got me all excited about it so we are going to put this sticker book down i think i just want to put it right down here with that stuff there and i want to i just want to put a couple of different things you know a couple of different ones. i just wanted to go in and put a few different things down um there is this right here i think that it is super duper cute and it is confetti so I think I wanna use this confetti here. It has all the colors in it, which all of them do. It really doesn't matter which one I pick, it's all the same. I just wanna make sure I have the blue on the page. That's really what I want on this page on this side. So, okay, so I wanna use this strip right here. I thought I wanted to take it all the way across, but I'm not sure that that is what I want to do now. I think that I still kind of sort of do because I can always um, I can always let's see I want it to like kind of cut it kind of different there, there we go all right so let's put this back down uh oh let's put this back down and then we will take this one across here Oh, they're still not close. Okay, whatever. Okay. So that's cool there. And then, so we have that. And I kind of still am thinking about putting this little girl down over here because she's super cute. So, and she just looks like, I don't know, today I'm crafting. So that's basically what I am doing. So I kind of want to put her down. I don't know which one exactly. Let's just go ahead and put her down. We'll just do her. And we're gonna put her right down here. Or maybe I should just use Miss Maker. Let's just use Miss Maker. And we're gonna take Miss Maker. Miss Maker just looks so serious. She's just like, she looks so serious. We're gonna put her right down there. And we will take Miss Maker's, her title, and we are gonna put her over there. Okay, so there we go. We got that and Miss Maker. And then I kinda want to put Planner Babe, cause it's purple. I like this purple here. And let's take it and put it over here. Now this has nothing to do what I'm with what is going in 
inside these boxes, inside these boxes, I am writing my summary of the books that I am reading. So it, yeah, it has nothing to do with anything. It's just super cute. So, and uh, again, that's the thing is that I like to try, like last week when we created, we created a spread that was based on books. So that was something that I wanted to do. I wanted to incorporate because that is what I'm doing is writing about the books that I'm reading. So this week I decided that I wanted to just be a little bit more creative. And so that is why you see I'm using this maker because I was inspired by the Be Happy box that I just received. And I'm super duper excited about it. And so I was like, well, let me just go on with a little bit of Miss Maker um, and see what we can't create with that. So we have these right here. I wanted to say there was two different pages on that. Maybe not, maybe not. All right, so I'm really loving this confetti, but over the confetti, I kind of feel like I want to put a few planner supplies on top of that. So let's go in, let's put some washi down. Let's do washi. And then let's do a disc. Let's do a pen, because we cannot write in our books without a pen. And if, those of you who did not know, I'm pretty sure they have told you this before. Um, and I hope I'm not wrong, but Miss Maker was inspired by um, Damask Love. I'm drawing a blank on her first name. Now that I hate I even said it to you. But it... Um, it was inspired by her, which she's awesome. Uh, Amber, her name is Amber. Her first name is Amber. I'm not gonna put buttons down, not buttons. We do need a ruler because guess what? I needed a ruler to do this spread here. And we can do this stack of washi on this side. This, this stack of washi here all right so I feel like that is pretty much done up there so let's go back over here and pull some other things we can pull it out of planner girl so you know when you're planning just don't feel limited because you should you shouldn't feel limited you should feel like you should be able to do whatever you want it's your spread that is the thing that you need to remember it is your spread it is what you like Create the things you wish existed. Yes. So we are going to, I'm not going to put that down over there. Bloom where you were planted. I like that, but I'm going to use that for something else. Eat, sleep, create. We're not going to use that either. So let's go in here and see what else do we have. I kind of want to use these to put down whatever, um, what chapter it is, I kind of do want to use these. So I am going to go in with these. And I might go in with those hearts because there's hearts all over um, this spread. So I'm going to put this one here. Use the green. The purple. And that will indicate whatever the chapter is. So that way I know. So I'm just gonna put these all the way across the bottom. And I am actually loving this yellow because it's not like too bright, not too, um, not too dull. So I think that it is super cute. And I think I wanna use this pink. All of these seem to be the same color. Maybe I should use a blue. We'll just use pink. It's all good. All right. So we have those at the bottom and that is what it's gonna indicate there. I kinda of wanna put a few more items down. Let me go find it up here. Put a few more items down. Here is some 
good stuff. I saw a quote that said coffee and creating. And that's what I'm doing right now. I do have my coffee and I'm creating. It's, yeah, that's what's taking place. All right, so I don't think there is, I think that's the only page that's in there, but maybe we can throw down one of these planners over here on this side. So we can put one there and then let's put one over here because this one says planner babe. So I'm not gonna use the one with the gold in it because I have rose gold on this page. All right, so let's go back in here. I'm so sad that I don't have more of Miss Maker. Um, I'm pretty much, this is all, all that I have. It's sad. Yes, there it is, coffee and craft, coffee and crafting. Do I wanna put that there? Not really sure, no, don't. I don't think so. So let me get, Here's these sticker books. I could always use these. I already have a blue one. So I do want to put another one down. So let me just do the green. Let's do a green. I kind of feel like if I put something else on this side, I'll be good and done with this side of the page. I kind of like this one. Planner Sesh. But that's a lot of green on this side of the page. I didn't realize. Okay, so we can't use that. So let's go over here to the crafting items again. Here's craft supplies, shopping, money. All right, so let's do some scissors. Green scissors. We don't want to use green scissors. Orange scissors, maybe? It's probably my sewing scissors. All right. So there's that. And then over here, let's put some things around here. We'll do more washi. And we have this planner here. I kind of sort of don't want to use another planner. So maybe we can just use this tag. Nope, that kind of blends. Let's see what else is on this other page. It's a crafty kind of day, but this one side of the page already has a, um, let's use this blue. Let's use this blue right here. Oh, again, that this stuff is a lot of blue and green. Here are silver. And then maybe something right here in the middle. Maybe a heart up here. Oops. Part up there, and then we could probably do a pen over that way too. A pen, and then I feel like I need something right here, so I will use the hole punch because we definitely need hole punches sometimes. All right, so I think that is pretty much it. And I like this one that says, I just want to make pretty things, which that's all I want to do most of the time. All right. So I'm pretty sure that that's it. I'm not going to put anything else down on the paper. Kind of feel like that that is good. Um, I don't know. Maybe I should do some hearts. No, I don't want to overwhelm it. There are some stars here. Let's call it. Let's, let's be done. Okay. So here we are. So, and again, I am using this for reading. So I'm writing my summary within these boxes, the title of the book, the author, and that is what will be on this page. Again, you don't have to go in, like last week we did a theme on um, reading. So that's not what I wanted to do this week because that's not what I'm using. So I was feeling crafty. I was inspired by the Be Happy box because I received mine. And I wanted to use those stickers, but I still want to hold on to them just a little bit longer. And before I use them, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wait. So we decided to pull out Miss Maker, which they are, you know, kind of sort of the same. Um, not really. 
but they're crafty people. Um, so anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, go ahead and click that red subscribe button. Thank you so much for listening to me ramble a little bit, and I will see you in the next video.